This is my brother's car. Pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna sell it for myself or just take it. Most likely just take it. I'm gonna take it, yep. My dad has his own personal gallery of my stuff in his office. This is really, really old. Really, really old. These are really old too. Look at my poor, my poor dog's missing an eye. Um, this is interesting about this watercolor artist. If you look closely, he left like a lot of lines, like pencil marks on his painting. And that's like a big no-no for me. Don't leave pencil marks. This is all watercolor. Let's see if I can find his pencil marks. I don't even know. I don't know if it's on this one or if it's on this one over here. Big no no. Where did I find his pencil marks? I was like, how dare you, sir, leave your pencil marks. Where is it? I think it's on this one. It's so one of these. One of these cars have pencil marks. Right there. No no, sir. You should have lined it with a nice pen. Look at all the pencil marks. I I'm not a fan of leaving pencil marks behind. Just think, my poor parents commissioned this dude to make this car before they had me. Look at this! Look at it! No! No, no! Here's another button tree by me. And these are actually all articles about my dad when he was racing. And I went and I photocopied them. And then I took them and I made a really cool checker flag tree out of it. And here's one of my favorite paintings of an animal that I made for my dad. Ah, Isaiah. That's a really old painting, but it's like one of my favorites I've ever made. It's a eagle. So, one of my favorites of like the younger, younger, younger little Priscilla artist days. <laughs> so pencil marks on that. No, I just think it was that one that really bothered me. But yeah, yes. And look. All the fun pictures. There's Dad. In the good old days, don't you see me? Oh, I made it move. Dad again. Dad, oh, yeah, that was Dad when we raced with Richard Betty, the king himself. Woo! So cool. My dad's pretty cool. Craig. <laughs> Good old Craig. So that's a part of my life nobody really knows. <laughs> um, the life of, if you go onto Dramatic Parrot and you look in the about section, you will see that there is a, um, there's a little section and I explain that I was, I grew up in the NASCAR world. Both of my parents were uh, race car drivers. Stock car race car drivers, not drag racing or anything like that. But um, I can show you my dad's old shop. We just, he just moved into that one shop because he decided, I think, I think the thing is my dad owns like, he's like a landlord now, so he owns about like three buildings and I can show you his old shop that we used to be in. It's our old shop. It looks a lot different now pretty cool place. It had an apartment above the building, so that's awesome. Fun fact about my life. It's like a secret part of my life that nobody really knows. Also, if some of you like follow like, I don't know, like really little stock car racing, which is called late models. So it's like where all the like 16, 15 year olds start to drive and everything. The Liberty University uh, team is in this park as well. Their shop is I think it's that one actually. They all thought that I would be a race car driver when I grew up, but I guess I just wanted to doodle my whole life instead. But trust me, when it comes to you want to race me down some back roads, not that I do that. <laughs> if you want to race me sometime, the 
the inside, the, the blood in the race car driver comes alive in me. So far, this little tripod's doing a little nicely. Let's see. Let's take it for a test drive to see how well it does. Just got this little gorilla tripod. I'm gonna give it a try because I did a little research and I was like, well, this looks like a good little thing. And since I don't need that ginormous thing like I was looking at online the other day, I thought, let's give this one a go. This one's quite small. It's cheap at Best Buy. So hopefully my camera doesn't go flying off my dashboard or anything fun stuff like that. Well, here comes the speed bump. We'll see how bad it does. Mmm, handled that well. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by Wonderland Girl today. I really hope you'll hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. As you know, I am Dramatic Parrot and this channel is for all my vloggity vlog vlogs. So I post daily vloggity vlog vlogs as well as fun little Saturday HD challenges that you, um, I'm using an HD camera and everything. And I really hope you will subscribe and tune in for more. Thank you once again for stopping by, and if you're a little bit more bored, go and check out my Dramatic Parrot channel, and I will see y'all later. Bye!